From 5 a.m. on Monday, these waters were no longer prohibited. A lifted restriction many people, after seven months, were thankful for. Whether it was to relax. It feels great. It's exactly what we all wanted. This is terrific. Come on, you take a nice little sea bath. It started there right. It started there very, very good, man. Spend quality time with loved ones or just take a long overdue sea bath. Oh, gosh. Oh, it had been almost two years. So we decided to take a early morning. Yeah, missing it. Really miss it, yeah. It's really fun, and you can finally go back to beaches, so it's really fun. Sentiments shared over in Tobago. It's emotional, but I'm so happy that we were able to come out. Um, it's my last day in here, and she loves the beach. For some, like Marjorie Brusco, who needed to soak her damaged back, entering the water meant more than just taking a bath. This is the for everything, yeah? You're taking the tablet injection, everything is true. But that, this one is the lady and the water. In South Trinidad, the untouched waters were enough to purify the soul. Those who earned a living on the beach appreciated today's opening as well. One chow vendor told us from Tuesday he will resume sales. I didn't walk in or nothing. I lost my house last year. It burned down in fire. Now we come back and we start to over. COVID come and hit. Can't walk. No money to come in. It was very hard. Ice cream vendor Marshall Benoit plans to come out earlier. I'm really glad to have the beach open back and I can get some kind of Christmas money because I was wondering where I can get the money for Christmas. Both beachgoers and salespeople are asking fellow citizens to behave when attending beaches. And so far, so good. As police record no breaking of the law at any facility on day one. Most people left the beaches before midday, and for those who went against the tide and tried to stay a few minutes longer, these guys ensured they didn't. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News.